Hey guys, how's it going? This is Right Ralph, and today I'm going to show you how to use VLC Media Player on Windows 10. This is for all the people who are like, who are like, hey, where's my media Windows Media Player? Why can't I play DVDs? Why can't my Windows 10 computer play DVDs? Um, and so on and so forth. So that's what I'm here to show you how to do today. Um, and yes, Windows 10. I don't know why they. It's odd because they dropped support for Windows Media Player in the beginning. But then they added it later on. Like when when Windows 10 first dropped, it didn't come with Windows Media Player, but now it does. But yet it's not supported. I don't know. It's weird. It makes no sense for an OS to come without any media uh, 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 capabilities. That's just very strange to me. So yeah, today I'm going to show you how to fix that. So basically, as you can see, I'm running Windows 10 here. Um, you're going to open up your browser, whatever your your choice of browser is, and just simply go to just type in VLC. Go to the first one, Video LAN. Okay, so I'm going to download this. Now, I can't demonstrate playing off of a DVD for you guys um, because my machine does not have a uh, does not have a um, uh, DVD player or any kind of a. Uh, it actually doesn't have any way of reading any physical media aside from, you know, USB ports and like a USB drive or something. But, yeah, it has no optical media whatsoever. So when that's done downloading, obviously you click on it, wait for it to unpack, you install the software. Um, it's real simple, real straightforward. Um, all this, just leave that as default. It's all good. VLC has been around for a long time. And um, it's an open source, basically, media player. And it also does a lot more than that, too. Um, uh, it plays all sorts of stuff. Um, and it also does streaming protocols. Um, I know people that have done um, uh, different forms of um, editing in it. Um, it has all sorts of weird features and, and, and stuff. And it, it's pretty capable. Um, it's been around for a long time. And basically it's it's like the king of uh, media players. Uh, third party media players. I personally don't do this. But that's just because I'm going to be. I don't use VLC personally. Um, I, I don't watch a lot of. Um, most of the media I watch on my machine is going to be like YouTube and stuff that's streamed. So I don't, I don't, I don't watch a lot of stuff that I have to like have a player for. You know, I, I do it all in the web browser. So this is pretty much it. This is what you guys are presented with here. Um, and basically, what will happen is by default, if you put in a CD, it should, um, it, it it should automatically ask you if you want to open it with VLC. If it doesn't. You can just go down to this little folder here, and this is going to take you to my PC for the ones who don't know about this on Windows 10. Um, some don't, I'm sure. And these will be your drives. So if you have a disk drive, uh, uh, a physical, like a meat, like a uh, you know, like a DVD drive or whatever, it'll show up here along with your other drives. And basically, you would just click on that, and then you you would right click on it, and you would be able to say, um, you go like this, and you'd be able to go um, uh, open autoplay. Um, and there might be an option to say play with um, uh, VLC or whatever. But yeah, it's not hard. So that's pretty much it for as far as playing uh, CDs and DVDs with VLC Media Player. I mean, that's there are other things you can do. Of course, you can go into, you can stream, um, you can open, you can you can get video feed from a capture device, uh, network stream. Um, this would be what I would do. I would just go to media, go to open disk, and then of course you know pick the one I want, and then it, and then from this drop down menu there would be one with it in there if you had one in there, and you can just hit play from there, and it'll play it that way. That's pretty much it, guys. It, it's a versatile little media player. It's actually really really nice. It has really good capture options and really good put video playback options. You can adjust. Um, you can adjust video effects and synchronization if you have lips if you have issue with like lip syncing You can adjust all that here to fix it um, You can co totally customize the audio source. So yeah, it's it's really nice <coughs> <coughs> Now another media player that I want to show you guys 
because I want you guys to have you know options. Options are always good, right? And VLC is not the only one out there. Now this is by far my favorite. I think VLC wins hands down when it comes to um, some of the tools that it has, uh, like the network streaming and such. But for the best picture quality, and I just, I personally, I don't know if it is the best picture quality. I don't know. I just, I, it seems like it is to me. Windows Media Player Plastic. Now, what this is is this is an open source based off of Windows Media Center. So someone took the Windows Media Player and they basically, I don't know exactly, I, I don't know. All I know is they took the old school one that was decommissioned by Microsoft. And I think Microsoft made it open source. I'm not sure on that. But somehow it got open source and they basically made it awesome. They, they took it and made it awesome. So don't be fooled by the fact that it's, Windows Media Player Classic. It's actually been updated and it stays up to date. It's really, really nice. It's one of my favorites. Um, it, it really is personal, personally one of my favorites. Um, it's very simple, very simplistic. It doesn't have all the other stuff that VLC has, but if you don't need any of that and you just want a basic player, this will come in really handy as well. So uh, I'm not going to download it and open it and all that stuff, but yeah, go ahead and um, t take a look at this one too. Um, because options are good so those are my two recommendations on how to play DVDs and music CDs and all that stuff after you've uh, after you've updated to Windows 10 from a previous operating system um, those are going to be your two best bets they're totally free of course if you like them you can come back and donate which is I suggest doing that I do that often you don't have to give them a lot, you know, but if you use if you use the software for a couple of years and you've used it a lot and it's really, you know, come to help you do what you want to do or enjoy what you want to enjoy, then, you know, I think they deserve five bucks, ten bucks, you know, um, but that's up to you, of course. As I said, it is it is uh, free if you want if you want it to be. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed that video. Um, I hope it showed you how to uh, get get your uh, movies and, and CDs playing on Windows 10. Um, if it did, if it helped you out, do me a favor. Um, since I helped you out, I would really appreciate it. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. It really, really, really helps me out a lot, and it's greatly appreciated. Um, as always, go ahead, like, subscribe, favorite, share, all that good stuff. It helps me out tremendously. And thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.